Hey guys, Pillin Fenz here with Doggy Dog in the background, go and sleep. It is sort of like 25 to 7 at night, but I wanted to get this video done. So, today I am going to go through my cash water purification kit. So please stick around, enjoy this video, and hopefully it'll be a good one for you guys. This is it. It's in a small little box. It's stupidly lightweight. But before I go into the contents, I want to say, like, basically, you want to check wherever you want to put your cash. 365, 365 degrees, days, days. Yeah, because basically anything can happen in that place. I prefer setting my caches up in winter because then I know the worst places to set them. If I don't set them in the worst places, I don't know what's going to happen. I've lost three or four caches in the space of two or three days because basically someone stole them or that the weather's got to them. Okay, I'm going to put a couple of clips of this stream where uh, me and Dopey Dog used to walk every single day, but we've had a lot of flooding, not flooding, but a lot of rain recently, and this area is flooded. So I'll show you that clip right now. Well, then, guys, this here. Is the stream but hard to believe that's not the stream this here mainly as you can see i'm walking on the footpath down to the stream where dopey dog is was a mound of mud now it's a mound of sludge yeah where that bit of water there is that was where the stream is but where dopey dog's walking into hard to believe guys was the footpath this was the footpath to get to the road I will show you the other side as well, but this is what I am talking about. If you are going to do caches, this in the place I would not stick a cache because it's unpredictable. This is the reason why I'm saying to people you need to do, I think, fascinating to do winter caches instead of summer ones because you need to check the thing 365 days of the year. If you're going to put a cache in because at the end of the day, this place, as I said, looks with footpath. And if a council do come along and do this, they're just going to dredge it and they're going to throw the stuff on the site. Like over there or up there or over there but i don't think it will actually bring us back personally this just gets flooded every year without fail as i said i'll bring you back onto the other side in a minute there's a little stream running down there from an old southwest water reservoir so yeah as you can see that is this is where the water went up to, it's up to that line there where my finger tips just at the end of it. So yeah, the whole of this was on one stage underwater completely. It was deep as you can see, it went quite far up. I'm trying not to show the houses because uh, there is houses around here. As you can see, Dopey Dog loose the love going in this water, I don't want her in this water now. Right guys, as you can see, we're on the other side now. Here's that bit, hard to believe that tree. It's about six feet underwater. Hard to believe. That's too in front of you. So yeah, don't be dogs on the lead because basically I know it's stupid enough and I don't want to kind of not going in the water. Oh, I don't mind going in the water, but but new new enough went beside the main road. Right, there you go, guys. That's the other side. As you can see, right over there, we were stood. Don't drink the. <sighs> don't be dogs drinking the water, or oh, she's sniffing the water anyway. This water stinks seriously badly. So, yeah. And this is supposed to be the footpath because there's the path going down there. So, yeah, this is the reason why I'm saying check where you're going to put your caches. Always do 365 degrees. Oh, sorry. Always do a 365 days of checkpoints. Check all four seasons. That's what I'm saying, mainly saying. So, yeah. It's going to get worse because it's starting to rain again. This is not... What you call it, this floods every year, so it's not as bad as this, but... Yeah, but I'm not complaining at the end of the day. So, I'm going to leave it there, and I'll bring you back. It's a bit shocking a bit, on it, really? But, yeah. Right, now I'm going to go through the, my water cache. This water cache is finished. I'm not going to add purification tablets into it. There is no purification tablets in this cache whatsoever. Because to me, I don't want to put a product in 
what kind of goes off, basically goes out of date. I know it's five year shelf life, but still, I don't want to waste money. I'm wasting money as it is, and I don't want to waste even more money. So, I will begin. In this vial, is potassium permanganate. This vial used to be in the old cache. This cache is bigger, very about, but it's practically the same content. This used to be in the old one. Um, potassium permanganate don't go off. I probably should put it in a waterproof bag as well as water in a waterproof container. Okay, there's enough there to do countless, countless amount of purifications. Yeah, I'm not saying that this is the only kit I'm going to have. If I'm going to lose my bag, this is the only kit I've got. It's not going to be the case. I've got to have my smock, I'm going to have my belt kit, I'm going to have things what I've got on me. I'm never going to lose anything else like that. I've just got, this is just an emergency kit, just in case I need to get some, get some fresh water quite quickly. Yeah. I have five um, coffee filters. I like to have coffee filters in my kit because I prefer them. Because one thing, you can use them, dry them out, and then you can basically buy them, or you can reuse it. You don't have to just use it once, you can carry on reusing it. I know I could put a cotton bandana in here, I am thinking about putting a cotton bandana in here, but at the moment I'm not got a spare one. I have a 500ml bottle. Claps for one with a normal lid, not a squeeze top lid, but things like that. That's another reason why I don't like purification tablets because then I would have to break a purification tablet in half to make a half a litre of purification with pure water. Instead, I can use like this and I can purify it easier. I have got a bigger bottle somewhere, I have got a bigger knob on top bottle somewhere. I might change that one out for that one instead of using this one, but this one here is worked so far really well. And as well, it works with the bottle clip. This is a bottle clip, what I put on in it. I can put that bit around the bottle, put that there, and then I can carry it. I can carry the bottle without struggling. Yes, it has got a carabiner on it, but I do prefer to carry these on this. That's the kit, guys. I'm um, sorry, so it's a nice quick kit. As I said, it's nice and small one. I am working on other kits. As you can see here, I am re updating my fire cache. I've got the fire cache still out there, so I've got to click that in before I can actually finish off this fire cache. So, yeah. Um, so, that's all the kit. I know it's not a lot. I know a lot of people might say that I need to add a few other bits, but if you do, let me know. Let me know what would you add. Okay, guys, right, I'm going to leave it there because it's now coming up to quite a long video. All right, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.